Ethiopian diplomat expresses keenness to press ahead with deepening ties with South Africa. Africa Groundwater Access Facility Initiative launched in Somali State Ethiopia. Hello and welcome to UBC World. I'm asking Omat now for the hour's latest. Abatachin Minister of Innovation and Technology disclosed that Ethiopia has registered significant development in a technological landscape. Addressing members of the 547-seat parliament for May for the 25th regular session, the Minister Bilet Amola revealed plans to establish a nuclear science and technology research center in the country with the students being sent to China and Russia for advanced studies in the field. He indicated that discussions are underway with the Russian State Atomic Energy Corporation regarding the center's construction following the completion of a feasibility study. A new initiative called the Africa Underwater Access Facility has been launched today in the Somali state of Ethiopia to help address water scarcity affecting millions of people in the Horn of Africa. Water security, water scarcity transcends environmental issues intersecting with public health, economic stability and regional security. Addressing these multifaceted challenges requires innovative solutions that extend beyond conventional water management strategies. The new initiative is believed to address this persistent challenge by tapping into the region's unexploited millions of cubic deep underground reservoirs as a sustainable development solution. The initiative will also create a platform for a God member state to collaborate on groundwater mapping data sharing and other related activities that bring dividends for communities living borderland areas. Meanwhile, water ministers from member countries of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, arrived in Jijiga, Somali state to partake in a meeting focused on water-related matters. Ethiopia's Minister of Water and Energy, Habtam Witefa, was accompanied by his counterparts from Kenya, South Sudan, Uganda, and Djibouti. According to the Ministry of Water and Energy, the meeting will also be attended by representatives from UNICEF and other partner organizations. It is indicated that the ministerial meeting will focus on the utilization of coarse border groundwater resources and to launch the groundwater access facility. Ethiopian ambassador to South Africa reiterated his commitment to shore up bilateral ties with his host nation in various fields. Approached by ABC World's weekly Addis Dialogue, the ambassador Mukhtar Kadir talked of raising awareness amongst the youth in order to keep nurturing the legacies of forefathers and long-standing relations as well. Ethiopia's uh, joining of the bloc of emerging market countries known as BRICS 
presents it with a splendid opportunity to explore new possibilities for growth. The Gisernas has compiled the following story. Take a look. The people of Ethiopia in South Africa have had a long and historic relations as the two people were bound together by common struggle to free Africa from the yoke, colonialism and apartheid. Ethiopia's victory against colonialism at the Battle of Adwa had long served as an inspiration for a resistance movement against racism in South Africa. Ethiopia also had an active role in the fight against apartheid. The military training given hundreds of freedom fighters, including former President Nelson Mandela in Ethiopia, is a statement to Ethiopia's commitment to the cause of freedom in Africa in general and in South Africa in particular. Their relationship has survived decades of resistance against injustice and this continued until the people of South Africa finally managed to do away with the apartheid system. Approached by ABC World's Weekly at this dialogue, Ethiopian ambassador to South Africa, Mukhtar Kadir, reiterated commitment to bolster ties bridging any sort of gap. He talked of the need to steer awareness among the Yos in order to keep nurturing the legacies of forefathers and long-standing relations as well. So in this area, we have to, we have to really work hard uh, so that we make these historical ties between the two countries known to the youth. The youth uh, on both sides, I see needs to be um, informed, to know about that rich history between the two countries, the solidarity that existed between the two, the two, the two people. In relation to bolstering economic diplomacy between two nations, Kader says multiple achievements have been registered. It's not only the, 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 the figures that uh, shows the economy is growing, the substance and uh, the, the qualities of the growth that's coming is really uh, attracting attention. Uh, and this is well recognized and noted by South African and Af South African companies. Um, so it's a big economy for South Africa and that is why um, close to 64 companies of South Africa uh, are considering to, inv to, inv to invest in, in Ethiopia. Ethiopia's decision to join the Intergovernmental Emerging Economies of BRICS presents it with an opportunity to explore new possibilities. Ethiopia managed to come in, to become a member of BRICS uh, during the 15th uh, BRICS summit, which was held in Santan here in South Africa. And this, um, this couldn't have happened had it not been for the support of South Africa. And this and the historical ties between the two countries will give the new generation, the youth, the opportunity, the opportunity that the, uh, we didn't get in the past. We, we have a very conducive environment and the framework of cooperation. Emphasizing the need to press ahead with collective work between these two giant economies, the ambassador further noted that efforts anchored on expanding bilateral ties create a very conducive economic environment, helping utilize the untapped resources of the two nations. The outgoing Chinese ambassador to Ethiopia expressed hopes that Tosino Ethiopia strategic partnership would deepen in the future. Talking to the Ethiopian news agency, the ambassador Zhao Ji Wan discussed the effort that he made to strengthen China-Ethiopia relations during his tenure. He was speaking at a farewell party organized for him here in Addis Ababa in the presence of high-level Ethiopian officials. Johannes Van Town tells us the rest of the story. Zihuyan began his tenure in Addis Ababa in October 2020 and said in his capacity as chief of mission swamped in into wicked details of swing the multifaceted bilateral relations of the two nations. In his parting remarks, the ambassador told the Ethiopian news agency that he had worked hard to swing zinning China Ethiopia relations during his tenure. Today, uh, I, I'm leaving for China to complete my mission. Yes, uh, so uh, my feeling is very complicated. Uh, everybody know I have worked hard for Ethiopia and China for bilateral relations uh, more than 
three and a half years, uh, I love Ethiopia. I love Ethiopia people. Uh, we all know that Ethiopia has great potential. We, I think we should have best wishes for, for the promise of Ethiopia. I also hope the uh, our weather strategic partnership will further depend. The ambassador also expressed hopes that China Ethiopia all weather strategic partnership will reach new heights in the future. Before my leaving, I want to thank federal government, uh, regional or regional states, and all my friends from uh, every uh, communities uh, for the support uh, to my work. During the ambassador's tenure in Ethiopia, various development projects were completed with the support of the Chinese government. China's support for Ethiopia's membership to the BRICS family is also another landmark in the long-standing relations between Ethiopia and China that decorates the ambassador's tenure in Ethiopia. Well, uh, before I go, here is the recap of the top stories once again. Ethiopian diplomat expresses keenness to a press ahead with deepening ties with South Africa. Africa Groundwater Access Facility Initiative launched in Somali's state Ethiopia. Well, that's all we have for the hour. Many thanks for watching. I'm Masked Nomad now, folks. Bye bye for me. Thank you.